Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a custom notification from your Salesforce survey. So a few items of housekeeping regarding surveys before you can jump into this. One, you need to have surveys enabled. Just go into your setup, search for surveys and turn that on, toggle that on. Two, you need to have the feedback management license from Salesforce. It's an additional license that will allow you to have the advanced settings that are required for creating the data mappings for this custom notification. And then finally, you need to have a permission set. I've got this pulled up actually. A permission set that has the specific Salesforce surveys advanced features, the one that's highlighted here. You need to have that permission assigned to you or whomever is creating this survey custom notification. That is this feature only comes, or this permission only comes if you do have that license. I'm currently in a Trailhead org or a developer org, so that's why I have access to it um, because you can do that there. Okay, let's go ahead and go into surveys and we're gonna get a little bit of context here. So I have already created a, a survey with kind of the bare bones of what we need to create this notification. I'm gonna open the latest version there. All right, now let's get a little bit of context here. We have a welcome page, we've got a company name here or I guess we have a welcome page, a thank you page. And then essentially what this survey is doing is it's asking the customer if they would like to purchase more products. And so what I would like for this custom notification to do is if they say yes, they wanna purchase a product or more products, then it's already creating a new opportunity and I want someone to be notified of that new opportunity. So then this opportunity doesn't fall through the cracks. So a few things that we need to do, we need to go back into the back end of Salesforce and create a custom notification type in order to do this. So I'm gonna go into custom notifications. All right, and we're gonna create a new custom notification type. And I'm just gonna have this be new survey opportunity. And I'm gonna support this on desktop and mobile and click save. So now let's jump back into our survey builder and I need to create a new version of this um, because it's not letting me edit it. All right, so, okay, now it is editable. Let's go ahead and go into our advanced settings here and select survey data mapping. Here, this is where it's creating the new op, that mapping. So now I'm gonna do a new mapping and have this be notify of new op. And then I'm gonna create a custom notification. And then I'm gonna choose this notification type of new survey opportunity. Um, and then we can enter in some specific notification information, but I wanna get the condition type first or um, when we want to have this notification, the conditions based upon that done first, cause that just makes more sense to me. So we want this to either run every time that this happens or based upon conditions. We only want this to happen when they say that they want to purchase more products from our company. So I'm gonna have this be all conditions are met. You could choose any conditions if you have multiple conditions. Um, you can also add multiple conditions here and then choose if it's all or any. I'm gonna go to the logic type, have this be response to question. And then would you like to purchase more is equal to yes. So then it'll run this notification whenever they say that they want to purchase more. That is also the logic from creating the new opportunity. So I'm gonna have this notification, we're gonna go back up to notification titles, new survey up, and then we can have this notification body. I'm gonna say this, hey, there is a shiny new opportunity from our survey. Check it out. All right, so now what we're going to do, we are gonna choose our notification recipients. So um, we can choose from a list of opportunities, accounts, users, groups. I'm just gonna have this be users, but you can go ahead and change this to whomever. I'm gonna have this notify myself. And you might want it to notify maybe the, maybe earlier on in the survey you had asked who their previous sales rep was, then you could possibly grab that and then have them be notified. Or you could have this go to sales ops so then they can route it effectively or you'll have it go to the opportunity owner or whatever on whatever you'd like. You can also choose more recipients of this notification if you have 
you want this to go to more than one person, but I am going to save that here. And it was saved, go back to the builder. And then of course we'd want to save this again and then activate this survey, then we could send it out and it should be working. Of course, you'd want to add more meat to the survey probably, but this was just a quick bare bones how to create a custom notification. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Uh, you can check out the courses at salesforceupscale.com and the blog at salesforceemily.com. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.